We continue to follow breaking news in baseball this time where the Houston Astros are promoting bench coach Joe Espada to manager. That has been confirmed by a front office insider Jim Bowden. He replaces Dusty Baker, who retired after Houston lost in the ALCS in seven. Espada has been the bench coach in Houston since 2018, previously entered for other head coaching vacancies, and this will be the first managerial job for the 48-year-old. Now you see the list here. There's still a couple of openings in the dugout in Milwaukee and San Diego, but the rest have been filled, including Stephen Vogt in Cleveland. So let's bring in our front office insider, Jim Bowden, to give us the very latest here, Jim. So what is the latest on how this all got done for Joe Espada and the Astros? Yeah, it's been a long, exhaustive process for Houston, but Joe Espada was the front runner from the very beginning. In fact, everyone that was around the Houston team during the playoffs, including the LCS, really saw the pathway that if Dusty Baker did retire, that he would be the next man up. He was doing a lot of the brunt work, and Joe Espada established a really close relationship with GM Dana Brown. It started in spring training, and I remember talking to Dana throughout the year in May, June, July, August, and he always would refer to his, his close relationship to Joe, how, how Joe worked so well with the front office. And you could see in the LCS when Dusty Baker got ejected and Joe Espada took the lineup card, how aggressive he was with double switches and not afraid to pinch it for, for the catcher uh, late in that ball game and really did a great job in managing a big victory for Houston there. So look, he's well respected by the players. He has high communication skills and he was the front runner from the very beginning with Dana. They wanted to go through a process, but by the way, Jim Crane, the owner, as well as Jeff Bagwell, one of the special assistants, along with Craig Biggio, they were all involved in this process and all of them, from what I'm being told, unanimously supporting this promotion of a spotter. So Joe will be presented at a press conference tomorrow at 11 a.m. Houston time, 12 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow. And I personally, Tommy, I, I think it's a great hire. Also, I wanna mention to you, because you mentioned the opening in San Diego, that also could be filled as early as tomorrow. The, front, uh, the two front runners for that job are Ryan Flaherty and Mike Schild, who are already on Bob Melvin's managerial staff. But according to our sources, it appears they want to hire someone that A.J. Preller is familiar with instead of uh, bringing in someone from the outside. So that should be done maybe as early as tomorrow as well. Uh, thank you, Jim, for, for reading my mind with some of my follow-ups. And you beat me to the punch, giving us the very latest on what's happening there in San Diego. Uh, as we wrap things up here, Jim, again, you talked about process. You talked about front runner and how Joe Espada is seemingly the right man for the job. Again, what type of team, again, has he taken over, which has been a franchise that has been stable, they've been successful, and not only do they have postseason aspirations, but have got to a point where they have fall classic aspirations. Yeah, they certainly do. I mean, really, this is a team that's World Series or bust. I mean, that's how they're being built. But they have more questions this offseason, and they've got a lot of players who – need to sign long-term contracts. Uh, Kyle Tucker, they tried to sign in the offseason. They weren't willing to give him the length and the years that, for example, the Braves gave Austin Riley. That's a contract they would like to address. They also have Alex Bregman, the third baseman, another contract they need to deal with uh, this offseason. But they're a team that's built to be perennial contenders. Uh, they definitely, I think, need to go out and get another starting pitcher. I think they'd like to get another bat as well. But they're in a very strong position. And again, the promotion also bleeds to that fact that these players, Jose Altuve, Bregman, Jordan Alvarez, the leader, leaders of this team wanted a spot to get this job. And I think that played a factor in this as well. And they don't have to look they far. They just got to go to Arlington to look at the champs for some more motivation, not only in their division, but of course, en route to the pennant and the World Series. Thank you, Jim. We take a look at the odds to win the 2024 World Series at FanDuel. Uh, the Astros are tied for the third shortest odds with the champs at plus 850. The only two teams that have shorter odds are the Dodgers at 7-1 to and the Braves at 6-1. to